Today, I'll be discussing probability. The definition of probability is just the number of favorable outcomes out of the number of possible outcomes. So this would mean dividing having the favorable outcomes on top favorable outcomes on the top of a fraction over the number of total possible outcomes. This is the basic formula for how simple probability is calculated. So let's start with a with an example. So let's say we have a set of numbers. Um, 5, 14, 3, 4, 8. So what is the probability of picking 4? So what is the probability of picking this number on random? So if picking randomly and these numbers we're choosing from these numbers, what is the probability that we will get 4? So, the total number of possible outcomes in this case is 5, since there are 5 numbers, and that would go on the bottom of a fraction, and 4 is only one of the numbers. So our probability will be, our probability will be 1 fifth, or 0 0.2, or 20 percent. These are just different ways of writing the same thing. Probability is always out of 1, so it's really always out of 1, or 100%. This is what probability is always out of. So the maximum, if the something, if the only number in the set was 4, and that's the only number we could pick, the probability would be 1, or 100%. So let's try another example. We have 9 shirts. And uh, three, three of them, three um, shirts are red. So what is what is the probability that we'll be picking a red shirt? So if we were to pick any shirt, the total number of uh, outcomes or or possible shirts that we can pick is nine, and we only want three. That's those are the favorable. That's the favorable outcome. So. 3 out of 9, which is going to simplify to 1 third, or 33.3, repeating percent. Now let's try another example with uh, rolling a six-sided dice. So if you have a six-sided dice, what is the probability that you will roll a 4? Now, in a six-sided dice, we have dice, we have a number, a set of numbers going from 1 two, three, four, five, six. And what's the probability that you'll choose a four? This is like the problem that we began with. So, the pro uh, probability to choose a four is one out of six, since there's six total outcomes. Now, what is the probability that you will roll a four, and then, um, let's see, let, and then roll a, roll a odd number? an odd number. So, we know that for the first part, um, 1 sixth is a probability if we roll 4. Now what about rolling an odd number? Now an odd number in this, in this set would be 1, 3, and 5. So the three odd numbers, the total numbers in this set are 6, so it's out of 6, which can be simplified to 1 half. But the question is not asking the probability of rolling an odd number, it's the probability of doing both of these actions. So when you have something like this, you have to multiply the two probabilities together. So you have 1 6 times 1 over half, getting 1 12. Now let's do, um, let's do another one. If we have, let's do, let's explain what experimental probability is. Experimental probability is when you have some information and you have to base it and the question will ask what the probability of picking something next would be so it's based on your previous results so you have some data and you have to base your answer on on your data that you have let's let's do a problem so you have 20 cars in a parking lot 20 cars and out of those 20 cars five of them have dents So the question for an experimental probability would be like, 
what is the experimental probability that the next car will have a dent in it? So you already know that there are five, there are 20 cars total, and five of them have a dent. So that means one fourth, if we simplify this fraction, have a dent, or 25%. Now it's asking what is the probability the next car will have a dent? It's the same thing, because if every car in the parking lot, if you were to pick out of any of these cars, you would say that one there's a 25% chance of you pick, pointing to a car with a dent in it. So the next car you get to, based on your previous results, there'll be a one-fourth or 25% chance that it'll have a dent in it. So that is experimental prob probability.